Ter Terry Diddles with Razo. That's so fun. <laughs> we played him in Winterside. It was so dude. We should have been on stream. We did. We did some stuff to each other. It was. It was pretty funny. All right, so game one going on. Razo versus K9. Oh gosh, look at this damage. The Razo, oh, the Peach no. special. Oh my God, still going. Oh no, don't it you? Took 82. Don't you dare get hit by down tilt. Both times I've seen Razo go for that combo, he's missed the la the strong hit of the back air on the last finishing hit of it. Honestly, uh, it's something that's better. Because it like sets you up for like that like they're barely like they're directly in front of you. They have to pick a defensive option, you're still in the advantage state. Yeah, I was about to say I wonder if that was intentional. It could be. Sometimes you want it though, just to set up for tech situations. Mm -hmm. Like if you can send them on a platform. Yeah, but like like it, it, it's either or. Like uh, like if I get one it's a good thing, if I get another it's a good thing. <laughs> like Yeah, it, you're gonna get a lot of stage control. The thing is about Peach combos, though, is uh, a lot of them, it's, it's, it, they're good at putting damage, but they don't always put you, like, put your opponent off stage, or, you know, usually you need a lot of stage to work with, so. Oh, Perry couldn't punish. They tend to only work forward. <laughs> Turn up to dash attack, not going to kill. Nearly does, though. Oh, nice angle on that shield from K9. Angled it down and toward him. It also goes super low. You get hit by the SF tilt. Fun fact, people, if you want to learn how to angle your shield, you can hold both buttons of the shield. Uh, if you hold two shield buttons, you won't roll. Or That's spot dodge. something I did not know, uh, but I don't have my second trigger set to uh, shield, so it does not apply to me. As long as you have two shield buttons. Oh, great bear coming in from K9, though. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Uh, I think it's better just to practice with one button though. I mean, it's really a preference thing. Like, some people like tap, tap jump, some people like uh, not tap jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very intricate statement right there. <laughs> Words of wisdom. <laughs> oh, yeah. I speak, I speak only the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Jack. <laughs> Not only is he Jack the Mac, he's also <laughs> Captain Obvious. <laughs> Captain Obvious. Hey, don't blow my cover, dude. <laughs> dude, honestly, that that's a great tag. Captain Obvious. Captain Obvious. Yeah, like, I know, I know, someone out there has that tag for some game. Ooh, that forward smash nearly taking out that game. <laughs> yeah, he's still gonna be punished by that back air shield. <laughs> it's actually really tricky to do that out of shield because you have to float cancel it and then to be able to do something out of it again you have to fastball it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's one of the reasons why beach is hard. Hard. Hard, yeah. <laughs> it's got that, it's got that like skill, I mean that gap, right? Oh yeah, so uh, that's, Peach's dash attack is really good uh, as a kill option when uh, if your opponent's like at 5% obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, because it's, it, Oh, he just slide. punched. He just got him. Alrighty then. But you can kind of slide under moves like Marth. Uh, a, a lot of the Fire Emblem's sword moves and their forward airs, mm -hmm. they start high and go low. Mm -hmm. So you can sneak under the move. Like Wolf's is also like that with dash attack. And you can beat out a move. It's also extremely disjointed. It's yeah, also, that's also true. It's also two hits. That, that's that too. That's another weird issue because like yes. sometimes like you shield the first one and you forget that there's two hits. Or you parry it. It's one of those moves yeah. where it's multi-hit, but it's not so fast that you just automatically parry the second hit. Yeah. So a lot of people just get hit by it anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. But K9 on a mission right now, dude. He's it's up again. He's killing it. He took that first game like he was nearly he nearly beat out Nico and. In uh, Winterside, he wants to fight that Falcon again, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if K9 wins this, Nico will go one game of Falcon, and then I, I think he's gonna just say, "If what? What? That was a weird interaction." Yeah. So the side B is a little jank. Sometimes it, um, 
you'll still get the animation even though it doesn't hit. And there's very fringe situations where that happens. I don't know what causes it. I think it did hit the shield, but like it just, it, he kind of buffered it already. He's just like. Yeah, he was already spotted. Oh, he's dead. There. Uh, that, that's one of the weird things about these spaces and like these fast fallers. Like you get hit by a turn up, you just die. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, uh, you. It's like a semi spike. You have the same amount of hits done, but because your character falls faster, uh, you just get knocked lower. Like an awkward angle where you just can't get back from. Oh, two nares into a dare. Oh, missed out. Oh, but no, oh, he messed no. out. That was a buff for air dodge. Yeah. Yeah. That Peaches love to go for that. I mean, you can catch your opponent buffering a lot of stuff with that uh, down air. Mm -hmm. That's why they go for it at the ledge a lot. Not because it'll kill, but because maybe you're buffering roll or some kind of attack. Yeah, remember when K9 was kind of like bodying Rosal the first game? Now uh, no, he's about to get three stocked right now. He's about to get three stocked right now. Yeah. As a smash, you have a very short memory. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the fair. Off stage, what is he gonna do? Oh, he went for it all. He went, he went greedy. Yeah, he he's, he needs these stocks though. Uh, yes. Four throw. Statement of the year. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he got, got him with the three stock. Another tournament. tournament. Oh, turn up. You know what? This is such a good stage for Peach because like you can't go under the stage like most other stages to like recover at the weird angles. You yeah. have to go basically straight up, and you, like Peach's dare covers nearly all, all of it. Well, and you can like you can kind of hide underneath the stage to avoid the turnups as well mm -hmm. in Battlefield, but you can't do that on Kalos. Yeah. So that's in theory a pretty good stage. Also, just the way the stage is laid out is also really good. Side blast zones are pretty close. You don't really get you don't die off the top really. And like Peach mo mainly kills off the side. Sometimes you get that like crazy up snatch read, but like m like 90% of the time you're killing with fair or nair. Well, actually, an underrated uh, kill option with Peach is the uh, forward smash. If you can get the frying pan, it actually kills really early. So does the other two as well. But like, like the tennis racket, the, 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 golf club. The, the tennis racket like has so much horizontal knockback. There's a lot of situations where the Frying pan kills earlier than the golf club. Yeah, but like, it, he's playing, when you're playing with the stage, like you're more thinking about well, like what the stage is, like what the stage entails. Oh yeah, yeah no, there I'm, we go. I'm There's agreeing with trail. you, but I just wanted to talk about that because yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't know about that. Three nares in a row. But I, you know what? When he was fighting against, um, when he was fighting against uh, the Terry, he got 70% combos because he would he would get the down tilt to the nair to the down tilt to the nair to the nair. But in here, he has to finish it off with like he has to do uh, triple nair instead. He can't do any down tilts in between. Yeah, Terry's at a weight where he gets comboed a lot. Now, like, because he's at the he's at a normal character weight. Like, it's the issue is like the fast fall, right? Like, like Wolf is considered a fastballer. Oh, that's a terrible guy. Right. And my God, like, Rosal's running away to sleep, but he got hit by a bear. And K9 needs to needs to find a way to zero to death him, which is possible. K9, uh, like K9 has the character that could do so. Not when you get hit like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it early presents that dare uh, leads him to drag down a bear. Which leads into down tilt, which leads into pain. Into whatever the hell she feels like. Nice parry down tilt, but couldn't follow up on it. Okay. Kane stuck on the head. <laughs> yeah, stuck he's still, the he's, still again. Eat, he's still eating up a lot of percent. This, and this is really bad. It's so hard right now. This is still a stock behind. Goes for the golf club to try to hit him low. And he's trying to get the jump three, in. He did three in a row. He thought he was going to roll in. There's a forest match coming up. Oh, game. yeah. Or the roll in, I guess. I don't see the strong. Oh, there. He living, though. Yeah, the strong hitbox for the... I uh, got him with the booty. Excuse me, Razo. I'm talking. <laughs> hit him with the booty. Like, the booty, yeah. Like, yeah, like, I, I know you're... 
No, you're commentating, but let me show you this real quick. Yeah. Let me bring it back. With the strong uh, uh, hitbox for the up smash is in the air uh, for Peach. <laughs> like, so it's kind of weird because the lower hitboxes don't send directly send uh, at, at directly up as an angle. They send sort of off to the side. Mm -hmm. So not only are they weaker, but they hit off to the side. Um, so the up that's why the up smash like the tipper hitbox kills so much earlier. Mm -hmm. I wonder Canine how people would judge me if I would, if they saw the way I was sitting while I was commentating. Dude, I, That's such a weird thing to say. I, and why are you wrapped around my shoulders like that? <laughs> I know. It's because I love you, bro. Like that, that, that's how you gain like symmetry with commentators. Like you commentate like with once or twice. Like you gotta get real close to them. <laughs> All right, this is already <laughs> becoming too weird. <laughs> Game. Game number four, people. Canine switching to Lucina. Yeah, uh, I, I know. Okay, so again, uh, Razo switch sneaking under that uh, nair. Oh, got him oh. with the turn up the fair. With the, with the uh, side beef. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I know uh, Canine likes this character as a counter pick character. He goes, he's gone against this character against Nito a few times. Um, there's a few other matchups he likes this at, but I, he's just getting blown up as Wolf, so I guess he's just decided he wants to try something different. Yeah, but he's already down the stock. Yeah, like just trying to go for a pure spacing character, because yeah, the the Wolf wasn't really working out for him. He lost his jump. Oh, it was really bad. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, dead. Oh, the so smart from Ozzy. Yeah, using that that uh, I mean, because you can go for more turnups, but it's it's much harder to do. Um, just that up smash, you just kind of end it. Mm -hmm. Make it so you have to do a lot. Oh, he oh, went I all the way it. up! Yo, that was nice! That was a great read coming in from Razo. And he reversed but, the... Uh, yeah, that was... You know, like, k has been having that problem. Like, he... Like, and a lot of these, t like, higher-level players have been realizing it. He's been doing that...